Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. We're gonna be talking OCC today. So you really don't see this brand on my channel a lot because they aren't like super available to me, just basically online. And when OCC was having its, I believe it was a 40% off sale, I went ahead and jumped on the chance to pick up the spring and summer cosplay collection. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. It's a six piece collection. There are five creams and one that has a pretty strong shimmer and I'm happy to report that I really like this entire collection. So um, if you're interested in purchasing some OCC nail polish perhaps for the first time or you already know you love them, um, just a reminder for you that already know you love them or if you're new to them, you can find them at OCCmakeup.com. This is not sponsored, I'm just telling you where you can go to purchase the product. So the cosplay collection, um, Yes, five creams and a shimmer. I really like this collection. I feel like it combines um, some great softer colors, some neutrals and some softness with not like neon colors, but just bright, not even bright, but just like pigmented um, rock star great creams. So um, yes, I do really enjoy this collection. We're just gonna go ahead and run right through it. And I will let you know that they're all two coders. Um, there's nothing here that you can really, really pull off at just one coat, but I don't really mind having to do a second coat with this, um, brand because they're super consistently great formula. They're never too runny. They're never too thick. They're just, they just have that really nice, even formula. So I'm really happy about that. Um, before we start, let me tell you about my lips. This is that... NYX Simply Pink Lip Cream that I picked up in XOXO. Um, I liked it, it was super comfortable to put on and it's nice to wear. My only complaint with it is that um, it looks all messy already. When I took it off and applied it, when I went to go put it back on, um, the next time I picked it up to kind of like firm up my edges, the whole product came out and just came out in, in the lid. So, um, yeah, wasn't too excited about that, but otherwise, I thought this was a nice product. So, all right, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the one polish that is not just a straight up cream. And I actually, I think this one might be my favorite. I love this one so much. Um, it is called Silence, and let me tell you how they describe it on the website, if I can. Okay, so the website describes it as a grade beige shimmer, and I would say that is actually pretty um, accurate there. This has some fairly gritty glitter shimmer pieces in there. It's very, very small glitter, but it's gritty. So, um, I don't know if, if many of you picked up that Bonita Salon collection that was um, like spring colors and they all had shimmer in it that was really, really gritty. It actually made it so the polish was a little bit unworkable for me. This is kind of like that without the problematic formula. So basically, I don't suggest you use this without top coat. I Sometimes I feel like you can just get away with, you, with wearing your polish without top coat. This one in particular, you definitely need the top coat. But with a top coat, I was just so in love with this polish because it takes away that grittiness and then all you have left is the gorgeous gray beige color with the beautiful silver shimmer glitter. I, I'm not sure I would call it shimmer because I feel like they're very, very just small chopped up pieces of glitter. So I did do two coats here and then the swatch photo I will show you with a top coat but I really like this one. And again, it's called Silence. So let's take a look at how it swatches. Okay, the next neutral in the collection is called John Doe, 
and on the website it's described as a pale ash toned taupe. Um, for me this felt like a little bit more nudey um, than a taupe. Um, I don't know, I just see I see more brown in here than an ash toned taupe. But it is really pretty, it's nice at two coats, I feel like it's a nice flattering color on. And again, I really liked this neutral. So it's like they gave us some nice soft neutrals to pair with the pops of color. So I really appreciate that. Let me show you how it swatches. Okay, the third kind of softer color in this collection is the one that I've been wearing on my nails in the video. It's called Femme, and on the website it's described as a true baby pink. I would say that's pretty accurate. Um, for me, a baby pink has perhaps a little bit less um, peach in it. This has a little bit of peach in it rather than, for me, a baby pink, I just see like a straight up, not very warm color. So anyway, that's that's getting uh, pretty particular, but for me that's what makes it a little bit different is it has a little bit of peach in it. But I do really like this. It's great at two coats and even for a pink I thought it was really nice. So let me show you. Okay, so let's move on to some great bright color. The namesake polish of the collection, this is called Cosplay, and on the website they're saying it's a teal toned green. I would say that is also very accurate. I, I appreciate looking at the website to have them tell me what um, kind of shade these greens and blues are because sometimes I see teals a little bit differently maybe than some people. I would say Yes, this is a great like grassy green color which is a little bit of teal in it. This is again really great at two coats. I was happy to find that it did not stain my nails with how pigmented and green this polish is. I didn't have any staining. Um, definitely not a one coater but at two coats it evens out really nicely and I think it is gorgeous and bright and I think a very great representative shade for cosplay. So let's take a look. Okay, another bright color in the collection, this is Belladonna. I keep saying bright, but actually I feel like these are all somewhat subdued brights. Um, but this is described on the website as being an ultraviolet. 
I've seen ultraviolets before be much more punchy. This is just like a really great, great shade. Um, again, really good at two coats. Of course, it's purple, so I love it, but I actually did prefer that earlier nude. Um, it was my favorite out of the collection. So um, that tells you how much I liked it because they did include a purple in here. But I think that this is gorgeous, of course. So let me show you how it swatches. Okay, last step in the collection we have Cha Cha, and on the website it's described as a pale tangerine, spot on again. I think this is just um, yummy. It's like a creamsicle orange, but a little bit punchier. Um, I think that this is just gorgeous. Orange isn't necessarily my favorite polish to wear, um, but I do think that this is a really fabulous color. So let me show you how Cha Cha swatches. Okay guys, so those were all six polishes. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have you tried this brand? Like I've said before, OCC is really one of my favorite nail polishes um, companies just because I really like a company that can find a great formula with a really fun sense of self. I, um, yeah, I just appreciate like taking chances, really fun collection releases, things like that. So um, it's just something else about the bottles. They are 0.5 fluid ounces. So basically you're getting the same amount of polish as an opia. Ooh, you can't really see that very well. So as you can see there, same amount of polish. Um, these actually retail for about the same as an OPI. These are $10 on their website. I participated in that sale um, that took them down to $6 a bottle, but then actually was shipping, I, I think it was like $13 for shipping, so it took them all the way back up to like $8 a bottle. So for me, they're a little bit pricier um, of a polish, which is why I don't indulge in them very often, but I just couldn't not partake when I saw the sale and I saw these great colors for spring and summer. For me, I'm not really about neon polishes for summer. It's just, um, like I like having a select few that I hold on to, but if you've been to my store in V-Site, um, the link is down below by the way. I keep forgetting to let everybody know. I mentioned the store in V-Site and I forget to tell you where to go to go to it if you're interested in getting some polishes inexpensively priced for very fair shipping that have just been swatched once. So basically that's what the Story Envy site is about. It's um, polishes that I'm just passing on. I've swatched and I'm passing on to some of you that maybe want to try the collection. So um, if you've seen on there, there's a lot of neon polishes that, have, that I've put on there because um, even though they're really great collections, I don't put them up because I didn't like them. I'm just not a really neon person. For me, it just... It's not really my color vibe. It kind of hypes me up in a not positive way. Does that make any sense? If you guys understand what I'm talking about, um, let me know. I really like bright shades, but for me, neon, they have a specific time and a place, and other than that, I really wouldn't choose to wear them at any time of year. Um, so a collection like this, where you're getting 
all these great colors and some neutrals is much more appealing to me because I can see myself wearing them a lot more often. So anyway, that's what I really appreciated about this collection and of course the gorgeous formula. Let me know if you are interested in any of these or if you've tried any of them, what your experience is with OCC. Thank you guys for stopping in to hang out with me again today and I really appreciate all your love and sweet comments. You guys are so, so sweet to me. I will see you back next time. I have lots more reviews coming up this week, so stay tuned. Bye.